Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will duplicate the document of the painting we made a few weeks ago because I will show you how to reuse a prior work of art to make a new scene on a graphic novel or comic, which can save you a lot of time. I just erased the part of the dress that was flying down and we draw it floating upwards. In case you want to see the video of the original painting, it is here on the screen and at the end of the video. Let's select all the layers of the woman by swiping right and create a new group. Then we can move her down and rotate her like she has sunk more from the prior scene. I'm using the program Procreate on an iPad, but you can achieve the same effects with other digital programs like Photoshop. Now I selected the lower part of the body and rotated counterclockwise. If you are interested, you can watch the long version of this video in my Patreon account. The link is in the description below the video. And by the way, I invite you to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at ArtistLeonardo, so you can be one of the first ones to see the new works of art and to get the news. And we continue changing the pose. I made a rounded back, rotated the head, moved back the arm, trying to create this effect that she's sinking. I spent a lot of time creating the original drawing and so I'm happy to reuse some of that work for the next frame in the sequence. I will rotate the legs a little bit more and separate them slightly from the body because I am missing space, like so. So the trick to save time for your novel or comic is to copy the original artwork which hopefully you did it in layers with each object on a separate layer so that then you can modify them or add or take away persons or objects to create a new frame. Here let's add the man, the prince, who launches himself to the rescue. I'll make him a little bit smaller and a little bit higher. Good. We clean the line up, give a little bit more detail, and then we paint the clothing. Also the skin, which is tinted slightly on the bluish as it is underwater, and the hair. It looks like he jumped and is diving, but he actually arrived there swimming. So let's change the position of the legs, like so. I'll flip the canvas around to see it from a different angle and I'll enlarge this upper part. Seeing him in this more common angle, we can more easily correct proportions. All right. Now I want to make some bubbles. For this, we can use a brush in the spray paint menu called Flix, and we create some bubbles around his body. Also, let's do a few manually, bigger ones. And some more up here. Let's change her a little bit since she's sinking. Now, on a new layer on top of everything, with the dark purple and using the mode overlay, which is used to darken everything you paint on, and you can switch the mode by clicking on the M on the layer, and using a soft airbrush, we paint the shadows to highlight the beams of light. Since we are on top of everything, this will create shadows also on the figures. We can darken more in detail if we want. And if you made it all the way to this point, 
I would love to know it. Please in the comments write me the secret code and underwater rescue. <laughs> and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. Subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already. If you wish, go to Patreon to watch the long version of this video. And I will see you with more creations on Tuesday.